Well, one man is being hailed a hero, and a truck driver has been cited after a seven-car pileup on Interstate 24. Rebar remarkably in all this, no one was seriously hurt. Sky 5 video of the scene this morning shows us traffic was backed up for miles. Our Cuthbert Langley was the first to learn that the truck driver's in trouble. Cuthbert, what's the latest? Rory, we know that THP officials are charging this FedEx truck driver with driving while fatigued. Police say he hit one car and then caused a chain reaction. In all, a total of eight cars hit, one caught fire, and a military veteran jumped into action. And, uh... Just all hell broke loose. This viewer video gives a first hand look at the hell Richard Crossan describes. Cars smashed on the side of the road, a ball of fire roaring from another. There's a lot of wrecking in back of me. From the air, Sky 5 shows that fireball ripping into the sky. Police say a FedEx driver slammed into one car, setting off a chain reaction. In all, eight cars involved, including Richard himself. The military veteran's car was wedged underneath the 18-wheeler. He drug me down the street for a ways until we stopped. That's when he realized another car was burning with no one around to help. So he crawled out of his smashed car and went to rescue the driver moments before it blew up. He was dazed. He didn't know what he was doing or where he was at. Witnesses say this FedEx truck was driving erratically before the crash. We talked to a local trucker union who says tired driving happens all too often. Combined with all the traffic, the irregular hours of working and driving, fatigue is certainly a factor. There are strict guidelines drivers must follow. That includes a maximum of 11 driving hours a day. Guidelines the union claims aren't followed by all. More pressure put on them that our employers can't put on our employees to break these rules. It's not known yet if any additional laws were broken, but what is known to this life saving veteran is that he's to thank for giving this horrible crash a happier ending. He needed help, and I just helped him. So what we know right now is that police are not saying exactly who caused this crash. FedEx released a statement to us this afternoon, really only saying that their drivers obviously are required to follow all traffic laws. If you want to read that statement in full, head to our website, newschannel5.com. Reporting live at THB headquarters tonight, Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5.